Hey guys, it's Reese over at Straight for Graphics. I have an encoding tutorial for you guys teaching you how to take any AV file that you have and export it as an MP4 file. So what this does is it takes this huge file size and it makes it a lot smaller. So let's see this here. This file is 5.56 gigabytes. Yes, that is huge. So once we encode this using EasyH264, this program right here, it's going to be only a few megabytes. It's going to be a huge difference. So let me show you how. First off, you want to make sure your document in Sony Vegas is a good default right here. You want the HDV20P, the 1280 by 720 width and height. You want to make sure the full resolution rendering quality is always the best. You want to make sure the Gaussian is for the motion blur type and make sure there is no de-interlacing method. And for the audio, you want to make sure the resample and stretch quality is always the best and leave everything else the same. 44,100. Okay, this is how all your projects are supposed to start off with. So, once you drag and drop your video into the timeline. This right here, it's just a frag. Me and some uh, good frags, you'll see that at the end of the video once I encode this. What you want to do is, you just want to render this out, whatever your whole project is, as a uncompressed AV file. So, once you have the AV save as type make sure you go to custom so you can always get the best rendering quality the project is set to everything here make sure the video format is always uncompressed no interleaving and leave everything else the same 30 fps and leave the audio the same also and hit save once you're finally done with your render, you'll see it's 100% done. So you want to take this uncompressed file and put it inside of EZH264. So you just open this up and you'll select the video file which you just rendered out of Sony Vegas, which is right here. And the output file will be whatever you want to render it out as. So I'm going to name this as frag.mp4. And that's what's going to be coming out as in this directory. So it's going to be on my desktop. And you want to have the video FPS the same as it was as your project file. So this is 29.97. So you want this to be 29.97. And then the encoding preset. This is where you pick which type of preset you want. The brass immense, or however you say that. This will be the biggest file size, but it'll have the best quality. This is what I always pick. And the lowest one right here, this will be a 360p. This is the lowest file size, but the worst quality. So once you hit Brassimus, then you just hit Start Encoding. This may take some time, please be patient. And then this box will come up, and this will go on for a while. It shouldn't take that long, but once you're done, then it'll say that the rendering is complete. Once your conversion is completed, it'll say completed conversion. You'll just hit OK and Easy H264 will minimize itself. So if you just go to wherever you saved it at, right here so on my desktop, you'll see the size is just 14.6 megabytes when it was originally when we rendered it out as 1.32 gigabytes. So that is a huge difference. And the quality is almost still the same. And I'll put the, um, this clip at the end of the video so you can see how good the quality is. I'll also be putting a link to the Easy Ace 264 in the description so you guys can download that and check it out for yourselves. I'm Reese over at Extreme for Graphics. I'll see you next time.